Hello guys, what up? Welcome back to my channel. So today we will talk about the world events of this week. And we're going to talk about the fate of TikTok and also like some other stuff, uh, including the definition of Stockholm Syndrome. So let's get started. Um, first, let's move on to the rec you know recording, uh, to the listening part. The world this week. Business. America's House of Representatives passed a bill which would require ByteDance, the Chinese firm that owns TikTok, either to sell the platform or to stop operating in America, TikTok's biggest market. The bill's supporters worry that China could lean on TikTok to massage content to its liking. TikTok became popular with its quirky video clips, but has morphed into a big provider of factual media. A third of American adults under 30 use it to catch up on the news. The bill now goes to the Senate. Okay, first about TikTok. America's House of Representatives passed a bill uh, which would require ByteDance, the Chinese firm that owns TikTok, either to sell the platform or to stop operating in America, TikTok's biggest market. The House of Representatives, which is America's Senate, passed a bill. 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 Which would require ByteDance. Ah, 那么这个法案的话呢，会要求可能会要求这个叫字节跳动 ，the Chinese firm that owns TikTok. 啊，那么这个就是啊 TikTok 的母公司啊。Okay, either to sell the platform or to stop operating in America. 要不然呢，就是给他们一个选择，要不然就是啊去出售啊这个平台 platform 啊，或者是呢停止在美国的运营啊 TikTok's biggest market. 呃，是那个 TikTok 最大的这个市场。The bill supporters worry that China could lean on TikTok to massage content like、uh, to its liking. 啊、uh, ，这个法案的支持者呢，他们担忧的话呢，中国呢会啊、uh, lean on lean 的话呢，指的是啊、uh, 斜靠着啊，就是依靠着是吧？那么中国呢会会依赖这个 TikTok 来去呢 massage content to its liking。啊 ，massage 的话呢，本来是有这个按摩的意思。那么这个地方的话呢，指的是这个信息控制，会控制它的这个内容啊，来去呢，呃、啊，就控制呢是就是播放呢，他他喜欢的内容，指的是中国喜欢的内容啊。OK， so TikTok became popular with its quirky video clips. 呃、啊、，TikTok 变得非常的这个受欢迎啊，是和它的这种古怪的一些信息呢，一些比较多变的一些信息的话呢，是分不开的啊。比如说一些变身什么的嘛，最初的时候啊 ，but has morphed into a big provider of factual media. 但是的话呢，它变形了，变成了一个呃叫事实媒体的一个呃信息的一个提供者啊。OK. But has morphed. 啊，我们知道 morph 的话呢是变形啊，变成了一个大的一个提供者，是 factual media 啊，事实媒体内容，就是比如说严肃媒体的一些。啊，新闻报道了，或者是一些纪录片这样的一些东西。OK， 啊、uh, ，a third 不光是不仅仅是一个娱乐所谓的娱乐平台啊 ，a third of American adults and a third use it to catch up on the news. The bill now goes to the Senate. 那么有三分之一啊 ，a third 啊，呃，是美国的这个成年人啊，三十岁以下的啊、uh, ，use it 使用这个 TikTok 来去获得这个信息啊。OK， the bill now goes to the Senate. 啊，众议院通过了之后的话呢，现在去了这个参议院了。参议院如果要通过了，可能这个总统的话就要批准了啊。OK， 好，那么批准了之后呢，这个 TikTok 还是可以上诉到呃这个美国的这个高等法院吧，或者叫叫什么最高法院之类的，这个地方可以去申诉或者是去起诉。呃 ，OK， 好，我们接着听下一段。Sam Altman was restored to the board at OpenAI. Mr. Altman was sacked as chief executive by the previous board last November, but swiftly reinstated in that job following a revolt by employees and investors. An independent review into those events has included that there was a breakdown in the relationship and loss of trust between the prior board and Mr. Altman. Saudi Aramco reported a net profit of $121 billion for 2023, more than the combined profit of the West's five biggest oil companies. Aramco increased its dividend payout to $98 billion, a big source of income for the Saudi state, and promised even higher payments this year. Ah,、uh, Sam Altman. Ah,、uh, this person, we've said many times, right? This is OpenAI's CEO. 
啊 ，was restored 啊，就是重新被复制了啊，重新被复制到什么地方呢 ？The board at OpenAI 啊，是 OpenAI 的这个董事会。Mr. Altman was sacked as chief executive by the previous board last November. 啊、uh, ，Mr. Altman， 奥特曼先生的话呢，他是被解职了，解雇了啊，作为呃，这个叫当时的首席执行执行官啊，被被解雇了啊，是被谁呢？是 by the previous board， 是被那个之前的董事会啊，在十一月份啊，但是呢 ，swiftly reinstated in that job following a revolt by employees and investors， 但是快速的这个叫做恢复原职了啊 ，OK， 在那个职位上指的就是他的这个 CEO 的这个职位。啊，是伴随着一个是反叛啊，谁的反叛呢？或者是内部的一些这个员工的背叛吧啊，呃，翻译成背叛不太好吧，翻译成反叛吧，是吧 ？OK， 是他的这个员工和投资者。An independent review into those events has concluded that there was a breakdown in the relationship and a loss of trust between the prior board and Mr. Altman. OK， 啊，一个独立的一个回顾啊，一个调查是吧？调查那个事件。得出了一个结论 ，has concluded that， 啊，过去的话呢，有一个这个叫，啊，关系呢是 break down， 就是关系被破坏了，是吧？啊 ，in the relationship， 还有呢，失去了这个信任 ，loss of trust， 啊 ，between the prior board and Mr. Altman， 在之前的董事会的话呢，还有奥特曼呢先生，他们之间的这个关系呢被破坏了，然后呢，他们之间呢没有信任了，呃、啊、，Sa Saudi， 嗯、啊、，Aramco 啊，这个应该是沙特阿美公司是吧？沙特阿美公司。呃、uh, ，是一个石油公司啊。Reported a net profit of 121 billion dollars for 2023. 沙特阿美的话呢，它报告了一个净利润的话呢是一千两百啊，一千两百二十亿啊美金啊，是零三啊二三年的这个净利润。More than the combined profits of the West's five biggest oil companies. 那么它是比这个要多啊，加起来的利润要多是。比谁的利润呢？是西方的啊，前五大的石油公司，所有公司的利润加起来还要多。Aramco increases dividend payout to ninety-eight billion dollars。啊，阿美公司的话呢，增加了它的这个叫股息的这个支付呢，啊、呃，就是到了这个九十九百八十亿啊美金。OK， a big source of income for the Saudi state。它对于这个沙特阿拉伯国家来说呢，是一个。重要的 source of income， 重要的这个收入来源 ，and promise even higher payments this year。那么甚至的话呢，今年承诺了更高的这个叫啊、呃、更高的支付。好，下一段录音。America's annual rate of inflation rose slightly in February to 3.2 percent. Separate data showed that American employers created 275,000 jobs last month. Although that was more than expected, January's red-hot figure of 353,000 new jobs was revised down to 229,000. Neither set of figures changed investors' expectations that the Federal Reserve will start cutting interest rates in June.、Uh, America's annual rate of inflation rose slightly in February to 3.2 percent. 美国的这个年通胀率的话呢，在二月份的话呢，是上升了啊一点点啊，上升的不多啊。OK， 上升到了是百分之三点二的这个年通胀率。啊、uh, ，separate data show that American employers created created two hundred seventy five thousand jobs last month。啊，另外的数据显示的话呢，美国的这些啊、uh, 老板们哈、啊，或者是那个雇佣者，他们创造了啊、uh, 是 two hundred seventy five thousand 啊，应该是这个啊二十七万五千的这个。工作啊，工作岗位在在上个月，尽管的话呢 ，although that was more than expected 啊，尽管呢，就是这个数字呢，比预期的要多。January's red hot figure of 355,000 new jobs was revised down to 229,000. OK， 啊、呃，那么一月份的这个炙手可热的这个数字的话呢，这个地方呢，指的是这个，呃，就是它这个数字比较多啊，或者是异常之多。啊，这个一月份的这个比较啊热的这个数字的话呢是啊三十五万三千啊这个岗位呢被修正到被修正了啊被修正到了是二十二万九千。呃、uh, ，neither 或 neither 都可以的啊。Neither set of figures changed investors' expectations that the Federal Reserve will start cutting interest rates in June。那么这两个数据的话呢？啊，都没有改变这个投资者的这个预期啊，就是美联储 Federal Reserve， 它将会这个减少这个利率啊，在六月份。
好，下一段听力。In Argentina, the annual rate of inflation surged again to 276 percent in February, but the month-on-month -month increase in prices slowed to 13 percent from 21 percent in January. Javier Milei, the country's president, has embarked on economic reforms that he acknowledges are painful. UNICEF has warned that 70 percent of Argentine children could be living in poverty. Meanwhile, the government rolled over $50 billion worth of debt that was to mature this year for securities that are due next year, the largest debt swap in Argentina's history, and the central bank cut its benchmark interest rate from 100% to 80%. Okay. Uh, in Argentina, okay, uh, 十二干庭啊 the annual rate of inflation surged again. Ah, uh, 这个年度的这种叫通胀率的话呢，就又飙升了啊 Okay. To 276、uh, percent in February, 达到了这个百分之两百七十六啊，在二月份。But the month-on-month -month increase in prices slowed to 13 percent. 但是这个啊、uh, 月月度的话呢，同比的话呢，它的上升呢啊、uh, 减少到了百分之十三啊。啊 ，from 21 percent in January， 从这个一月份的百分之二十一减少到了这个啊百分之十三。啊、uh, ，Javier， 啊、uh, ，Javier Miley， OK。好，应该是他是他们是那个，呃，这个并不是英文啊，应该是这个 Spanish 吧，对吧？啊，应该是西班牙文啊，如果我没有说错啊 ，OK。所以说他读 Javier 啊，这个是阿根廷的总统。The country's president has embarked on economic reforms that he acknowledges are painful。他这个 embark on 指的是开始了，是吧？开始了经济的改革啊，什么改革的话呢？定语从句修饰这个改革啊，他承认啊是痛苦的。UNICEF 啊，是联合国儿童基金会 ，has warned that 70% of our Argent Argentine children could be living in poverty. 那么联合国基儿童儿基会的话呢，它警告说 70% 的阿根廷的孩子有可能是在啊、uh, 住在这个贫困之下。Okay. Meanwhile, 同时 the government rolled over 50 billion worth of debt that was to mature this year for securities that are due next year, the largest debt swap. In Argentina's history, 政府的话呢，它是延期，它要将要那个延期支付了啊，不是将要，是在过去，是吧？延期支付了是五百亿美金啊，价值的这个债务啊，本来是那个今年到期的 ，mature 成熟，今年到期的是吧？那么把它把它延期到了，变成了什么呢？变成了一个债券啊 ，securities 是吧？那什么样的债券的话呢？是明年到期的，就是说做了。把债务呢变成了债券，做了一个延期啊，是一种这个交换啊，债务的互换。The largest debt swap in Argentina's history， 在阿根廷的历史上呢，是最大的一个债务的一个交换。And the central bank cut its benchmark interest rate from 100% to 80%。OK， 啊，阿根廷的央行的话呢，把它的基准利率呢，就是从一百分之一百减少到了百分之八十。啊，这个非常高了啊！比如说我们呃知道的，一般的说，比如说贷款利率呢，百分之三四呢，就现在呢已经是比较高的了，是吧？那么存存款利率的话呢，可能是百分之二左右吧，百分之一啊。那么高的可能百分之三。那么他们国家呢是百分之百啊啊，那说明这个经济呢状况呢是有比较糟糕吧？好，下一部分。France increased its share of the global arms export market to 11% in 2019 to 2023, from 7.2% in 2014 to 2018, according to the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute. France gained by selling more weapons to countries such as India, the world's biggest arms importer, taking some of Russia's business. Russia's share of the global market dropped to 11% from 21%. 好，我们看一下军售的情况啊。France. Increases share of the global arms export market to 11 percent from、uh, 2019 to 2023, from 7.2 percent in 2014 to 2018. Okay, France 增加了它的这个全球军售啊、uh, 军售出口的这个市场是吧？这个份额增加了它的份额，是从这个啊一九到二三年的百分之十一呢，呃，那个是增加到了百分之十一啊。然后呢，它是从这个，呃，一四年到一八年的那个百分之七点二的这个占比的话呢，涨起来了啊，涨到了这个，呃，一九到二三年的百分之十一。According to the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute， 那么根据这个斯德哥尔斯德哥尔摩国际和平研究机构的这个报告来的啊，大家可以看一下这个数据，最多的是美国啊，然后是法国啊，俄罗斯，然后是中国。
OK， 后面是德国。Uh, France gained by selling more weapons to countries such as India, the world's biggest arms importer, taking some of the Russia's business. 法国的话呢，获这个呃，那么这个增长，那么是通过呢销售更多的武器给一些国家，比如说印度，那么世界最大的这个叫武器的进口国。啊、uh, ， taking some of the Russia's business， 那么是抢了这个俄罗斯的一些生意。Russia's Russia's share of the global market. Drop to eleven percent from twenty one percent. 那么俄罗斯的这个全球出口的占比的话呢，是从百分之二十一啊降到了百分之十一。OK， 呃，我们整把整个把听力呢，我们再听一遍。The world this week, business. America's House of Representatives passed a bill which would require ByteDance, the Chinese firm that owns TikTok. Either to sell the platform or to stop operating in America, TikTok's biggest market. The bill's supporters worry that China could lean on TikTok to massage content to its liking. TikTok became popular with its quirky video clips, but has morphed into a big provider of factual media. A third of American adults under thirty use it to catch up on the news. The bill now goes to the Senate. Sam Altman was restored to the board at OpenAI. Mr. Altman was sacked as chief executive by the previous board last November, but swiftly reinstated in that job following a revolt by employees and investors. An independent review into those events has included that there was a breakdown in the relationship and loss of trust between the prior board and Mr. Altman. Saudi Aramco reported a net profit of $121 billion for 2023, more than the combined profit of the West's five biggest oil companies. Aramco increased its dividend payout to 98 billion dollars, a big source of income for the Saudi state, and promised even higher payments this year. America's annual rate of inflation rose slightly in February, to 3.2 percent. Separate data showed that American employers created 275,000 jobs last month. Although that was more than expected, January's red-hot figure of 353,000 new jobs was revised down to 229,000. Neither set of figures changed investors' expectations that the Federal Reserve will start cutting interest rates in June. In Argentina, the annual rate of inflation surged again to 276 percent in February, but the month-on-month -month increase in prices slowed to 13 percent from 21 percent in January. Javier Milei, the country's president, has embarked on economic reforms that he acknowledges are painful. UNICEF has warned that 70 percent of Argentine children could be living in poverty. Meanwhile, the government rolled over $50 billion worth of debt that was to mature this year for securities that are due next year, the largest debt swap in Argentina's history, and the central bank cut its benchmark interest rate from 100% to 80%. France increased its share of the global arms export market to 11% in 2019 to 2023, from 7.2% in 2014 to 2018, according to the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute. France gained by selling more weapons to countries such as India, the world's biggest arms importer, taking some of Russia's business. Russia's share of the global market dropped to 11 percent from 21 percent. OK， 最后呢，一个名词呢叫 Stockholm Syndrome。我们知道这个啊，斯德哥尔摩的话呢是瑞典的首都啊。那么有一个斯德哥尔摩综合症的话呢叫 Stockholm Syndrome 啊，也是一种这个叫啊人质情节或者人质综合症的这么一个心理学理论。啊，这个大家可以看一下，可能你本身也知道，但是它的英文的话呢叫 Stockholm Syndrome。好，谢谢大家的这个收看啊 ，Thanks for watching，See you guys next time， 拜拜。